Hey, how you doing? My name is John Kent from North Pinellas Adventure Boot Camp for Women. I want to welcome you to our very first blog post. You know, we've been sending out our newsletter now for over four and a half years and we get emails and questions and comments and they're really great, but they're not really shared. So I decided to start this blog. Uh, so if you have any questions or you have some comments that you want to make, I would love for you to make them and we can make this a two-way conversation. So I want to welcome you and thank you for being here. Next, I want to talk to you about the number one hang-up that I run into with women, at least in the very beginning. And that is, they say, you know, I'm really not motivated, I'm really not inspired. And a lot of times they're waiting around for this mystical fairy dust to be sprinkled on them for them to be motivated or inspired. But the truth is, is that's really not reliable. It may come, but it may not come. So, what I'm going to suggest is for you to take a slightly different approach, really a radically different approach, and that is to take action first and then wait for the inspiration and motivation to come. You know, a lot of the ladies at our camp, we have camp at 5.30 a.m., 9 a.m., and 7 p.m., but a lot of ladies at our camp, while they're just getting up or while they're just putting their shoes on, they may not feel that inspired at that moment, but they go and they come to camp and by the time they've walked around and, and by the time they've chatted with a friend or two and now by five minutes in and ten minutes in, their heart rate's up, their temperature is up, they're breathing a little bit deeper, they're breathing in the fresh air, they're outside, they've probably been stuck inside a lot, so they're outside, it's a cool environment, and now all of a sudden the motivation and inspiration is there. So, but it wasn't there at first. They took action and then the motivation and inspiration comes. You know, instead of depending on motivation and inspiration, what we may need to do is depend a little bit more on rituals. So how do we create rituals? Well, we need three things to create powerful rituals in our lives. Number one, we need structures. These are things and environments that we have to get us from where you are to where you want to be. Like uh, maybe your weights or mat or shoes or iPod or, or healthy food in your refrigerator. These are structures that you have. The th second S is systems. You need to have systems. These are processes that you have. These are uh, automatic rituals that you have. Just like when you wake up in the morning, you don't do everything different, I'm supposing where you brush your teeth and do your thing, you know, you do it in a certain order, or when you go to bed you have rituals that you do that way and you don't drive to work a different way every single day. You probably go uh, your chosen path, right? Well, those are rituals. A lot of times they're just there by default and they're not there by purposeful design. So what I'm going to suggest is that we provide that we develop systems to help you so you can get kind of on automatic pilot. And so after structures and after systems, the third S is schedule. Whatever you do, you need to schedule, just like you were going to a doctor, right? You wouldn't say, hmm, I'm going to go to the doctor now. No, you would make an appointment and then you would go to the doctor or dentist or uh, getting your hair done, right? You would make an appointment. Well, this is just as important as any of those other appointments and you need to value that appointment with yourself. So, sometimes we need to take action before we get the inspiration. Then, as the ladies in camp know, we can see the rainbows, unicorns, and butterflies come out. Anyway, my name is John Kent from North Pinellas Adventure Boot Camp for Women. I would love to see your comments and questions below. Thanks so much. Be unstoppable.